This is a real NES classic and this is a fake one. This one has 30 games in it and this one has 620. Which one's better? Hello everyone, my name is Dan and today we're going to be comparing these two consoles. So this one is the NES classic that released all the way back in I believe 2018, 2017, 2018 and it includes Seri Classic Nintendo games which I'm going to list off right now. We have Balloon Fight, Bubble Bubble, Castlevania, Castlevania 2, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, Final Fantasy, Kauga, Ghost and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climbers, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Bros., Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Punch-Out, Star Tropics, Super C, Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 2, Super Mario Bros 3, Tecmo Bowl, The Legend of Zelda, and Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Those are the games included in the NES Classic Edition, however, this fake Nintendo NES Classic Edition that's not official says that it has 620 NES games. But which one is better? We have the classic, the official with Seri Classic Games, and we have the fake one. 620, let's find out. But first, what's inside each of these boxes? In the official NES Classic Edition, you have, of course, the console being a mini version of the original NES, one NES controller that's pretty much identical to the original controller, a power outlet, a power cable, and an HDMI cable. Pretty legit, but what does the fake NES Classic include? The fake NES Classic includes, of course, the console that supposedly includes 620 games, an AV out cable, but it only has two outputs, and two controls that are not identical to the NES since it has four buttons on the right side. At first hand, I already see a lot of differences in these two systems. First of all, the real one is much heavier than the fake one, which is funny because this one has less games than the fake one. And if we put them one on top of the other, the real one is a little bit smaller as well than the fake one, just like a tiny bit smaller. And here on the real one, you can see that it says Nintendo Entertainment System, while in the fake one, it only says Entertainment System. Also, the output of the controls is completely different, the official one being more modern and the other one being a little bit older but cheaper. And as you can see, the buttons are different. So we have power on the left and reset on the right in the official one, and we have reset on the right and power on the left on the fake one. Actually, clicking on the buttons feels much nicer on the real one than on the fake one. The fake one, it just feels fake. And if we actually look at the back, well, the NES has an HDMI logo on the right and it has the DC in and DC out, which is for the power and both of them have it. So you have like the DC in, in both of them and we have the HDMI out on the official one and an AV out on the fake one. So that's pretty much all the difference that I could see. But now let's put these consoles to the test. Anyways, let's start with the official one. So first of all, let's turn it on. And as you can see, you can decide the language, which is something really cool. And oh, look at this. We have a nice menu with some nice music, so we can decide which game we want. And we can see all of the games, very, very nice. And if we want to play them, well, you can just play them. It is fast, you can play them right away. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I tried several of the games, like Kid Icarus, a little bit of Mario, a little bit of Zelda and it works, it, it works very well. The controller feels very comfortable. It feels like a high quality product and fun fact, you can actually change the aspect ratio. So if you want that authentic NES feel, well, you can have it. Switching games is fast, it is easy, and having the option to save your files really makes up a huge difference. It has a great selection of games and Overall, it feels great. It sounds great, the music is on the spot. I really do not have any complaints. This console does everything that it's supposed to do. For me, it is a great console. Of course, with the Nintendo Switch Online, you can play most of these games already on the Nintendo Switch. So if you have a Nintendo Switch, I don't see the point on you getting the NES Classic Edition. However, if you do not have a Nintendo Switch and you just want the nostalgia of having an NES, well, this is a great option for you. Now, let's move to the fake one. So, if we turn it on, we do not have a language selection, which is a little weird, but okay, that's fine. And we can see the list. So, we have 
one out of 620 games. And funny enough, the first one is Mario 3. And we have Mario 10, Mario 11, 12, 13, 14. What? Okay, that's weird, but okay, let's, let's try Mario 14. Okay, so you just slapped Mario's face into another character model and change the sprites a bit and you call it Mario 14? Okay, that's that's funny, that's funny. And that's the thing, a lot of these games just change up the sprites and call it Mario something and wait, is that Spider-Man? Oh wow, I never realized that there was a Spider-Man game for the NES. I don't know if this is an Atari game or an NES game or something like that, but that's cool. Most of these games have names that are not the official names, so instead of being Mario, it's like uh, Mario Hero or something like that, which is funny. I think that's how they're escaping copyright issues. And I don't remember there being a Pokemon game for the NES. I think since Pokemon was invented and added onto the Game Boy era after the NES, so there's no way to have a Pokemon game on the NES, but here we have Pikachu. Not Pikachu, Pikachu. So it's Tetris with Pikachu. Ah, oh, he smiles. Oh, that's cute. But you know what? Let's see if there's actually 620 games. Well, would you look at that? There are 620 games. But this feels odd. Hold up. After moving through all the games, I found out that there's actually like 300 games and they just, after the 300 and something mark, the games loop again. So that's interesting because you cannot have two Mario 14s. So <laughs> you should you should even have a Mario 14. Uh, but that's funny, that's really funny. I do not have the patience right now to do it, but I think that if you click on several titles that have different names, they turn out to be the same game, just with different sprites. And I clicked on this Mario game and it's actually just the Mario game starring on World 2 and it is sped up. So I don't know what that's all about. Another thing that I noticed is that whenever you reset, you go back to the first game of the list, so you go back to 1 out of 620 instead of the game that you left off. That's annoying. So this is a very clunky piece of NES uh, track wannabe. It has a lot of games, it's cool for like uh, a little bit of time, but if the NES Classic Edition is too expensive for you and you want like a cheap alternative and something that you can play that reminds you of the NES, well, this can get the job done as well. It is not perfect, you cannot save on it, but it gets the job done. Okay, so that was pretty funny. So overall, I think we all know who's the real winner here. However, the fake one isn't that bad. Because the real one has a very nice interface. You can save up your progress, go back, reset, all the type of neat stuff that you cannot do with the fake one. However, for what it is, for the number of games that this console has, well, it is alright. Like a good, like economic, cheaper version of the NES Classic if you just want to play a little bit of the games, it gets the job done. It is not the best option, but it has more variety of games than the normal one. However, this is the official one, this is the legal one, I'm not sure if this is legal, uh, but this is the legal one, this is the one that you should definitely go to if you're planning on getting either one of them, but whatever, it's your choice, you get to pick, you decide which one is better, either the real one or the fake one. It's up to you. But that's going to be all for today. My name is Dad. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll catch you next time. See ya!